Pearl Harbor by Maddie Appleby. Think about what you find yourself doing around 8 a.m. Some may be sleeping, getting ready for work, driving to work, driving to school, whatever it may be, think about it. Just before 8 a.m. on December 7, 1941, the Japanese sent out hundreds and hundreds of fighter planes to attack the American naval base at Pearl Harbor located near Honolulu, Hawaii. What made the Japanese attack? The United States had a large restrictive embargo on Japan and Japan wanted to continue to spread throughout Asia. The Japanese were sick of negotiating with the United States to do things and wanted more control. When negotiating started to not go along so well, they decided to launch the surprise attack on the United States in an attempt to eliminate the strong naval power the United States had before an official war was announced. The Japanese put a lot of preparation into the attack. Much practice, effort, and caution was put into the preparation of the surprise attack. Nearly a year worth of planning was spent on this attack. The Japanese knew how important it was for this to be a surprise because they knew how strong the United States was, and if it was not a surprise, they knew they would not be successful. Vice Admiral Chuichi Nagumo sent out his Japanese attack force on November 26, 1941. They left out of the northeastern part of Japan, known as Itorfu Island, and began their 3,000-mile journey throughout the Pacific Ocean. They were equipped with several ships and planes for this attack. This included six aircraft carriers, nine destroyers, two battleships, two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, and three submachines. Having to transport these many planes and ships, being spotted by another ship was a constant worry of the Japanese. To avoid coming in contact with anyone else, they were continuously going zigzag throughout any major shipping lines. This added to the time it took tra to travel, but they arrived to their destination that was just about 230 miles just north of the Hawaiian island of Ahu after a week and a half of traveling through the sea. The Japanese began the attack beginning at 6 a.m. on December 7, 1941. The Japanese began sending out their first wave of attacks. 183 Japanese aircraft took flight over the sea towards Pearl Harbor. At 7.15, the second wave of 167 more planes took flight for the second attack on Pearl Harbor. At 7.55, the first wave reached the United States at the U.S. Naval Station of Pearl Harbor. Tora, Tora, Tora! This is the translation of Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Right before the first bombs were dropped on Pearl Harbor, this is what the leader of the air attack yelled as a secret message to explain that the whole Japanese Navy had made it as a surprise and the Americans were not aware. The Japanese knew when planning the attack that in America, Sundays were laid-back, stress-free days. They knew that many would either stop, still be asleep, eating breakfast, or making their way to church, not stressing about much of anything. All of a sudden, there are loud booms, large amounts of smoke, and huge aircrafts closer than usual to the ground. Many were struck by surprise once they realized what was happening. Pearl Harbor's worst nightmare. Worst nightmare. They were being attacked. It didn't take many to act upon what was happening. Many grabbed anti-aircraft guns and began shooting within minutes in an attempt to shoot down the attack planes. Around 8 a.m., a hurried dispatch was sent out to all in the U.S. Naval Fleet. They be then began to attack on Battleship Row. The Japanese originally hoped to take down all U.S. aircraft carriers, but luckily for the U.S., most were out to sea that day. So the Japanese then targeted the battleships. There were eight U.S. ships that were located on Pearl Harbor, and there were seven lined up, which was considered Battleship Row. And one, known as the Pennsylvania, was currently being docked for repairs. Due to having a surprise attack, the Japanese sent out several torpedoes and bombs to attack the Battleship Row. They were overall successful, but the crews of the ships did, however, work very hard to keep their ships afloat, but many were bound to sink. They then began to attack the airfields. The Japanese had a key target being the airfields of the U.S. 
at Pearl Harbor base. They thought that taking out all their planes would eliminate their chances to fight back. In the first wave of attacks, it was clear to see that the U.S. planes were lined up throughout the field, all standing side by side, which made for an easy target. The Japanese dropped several bombs attacking and destroying many planes. Once the U.S. realized what was going on, they attempted to shoot down some Japanese planes, but they were not very successful being outnumbered. But it did help eliminate a few Japanese planes. When the attack was over at 9.45 a.m., two hours after the attack had begun, the planes began to head back to their own bases. Around 12.14, they returned home, and an hour after that, their attack force began to take their long trip homebound as well. There was much damage at Pearl Harbor. During the attack, the Japanese successfully sunk four ships as well as damaging three more. They also damaged three light cruisers, four destroyers, one mine layer, one target ship, and four auxiliaries. 188 aircrafts were destroyed along with 159 damage. Death was, death was unfortunately very high. 2,335 servicemen were killed and 1,143 wounded. 63 civilians were killed along with 35 wounded. The Japanese only suffered a few deaths and only 29 aircrafts were destroyed as well as five midget subs. The U.S. then enters World War II. The news of the attack on Pearl Harbor quickly spreads throughout the U.S., streaming the cravings for revenge. President Franklin D. Roosevelt then asked Congress to declare war on Japan. When only having one descending vote, Congress then declared war, which now brings the United States officially into World War II.